Hey guys, I'm Ryan. And I'm Adel. We're members of the Boom Beach development team and we're coming to you from Helsinki, Finland. We received an incredible response about the last video and we've come back for more. This time, it's going to be all about heroes. So today we're going to talk about why we're bringing heroes to Boom Beach, who they are and what they're doing in the archipelago, and finally what their abilities are and how they can be unlocked. And most importantly, we're going to tell you when the update is coming. So, let's dive in. So, heroes. How many are there? We'll launch with two heroes. Um, but the feature was built in a way that um, it's easier, easy to, for us to add new ones. So not, e not easy, <laughs> strictly speaking, but uh, we don't have to build all the, frame, the whole framework again. So, we'll be releasing new heroes as we go along. Um, right now, we have quite a few heroes in different stages of development. Like some of them are more fleshed out. Some, some of them are just post-it notes yeah, exactly. on a wall. So, yeah. uh, but we have a lot of ideas. And if heroes. you guys have ideas, please send them in. But um, I remember when we first started working on heroes, we had a ton of post-it notes. So yeah. it was really cool to see them boil down into the two very best ones. And I think also um, part of what took this update longer than usual is that building that framework was a really key aspect um, to make sure that the heroes could live for a long time and we could have new updates with them down exactly. the road. Because they give us a really useful tool for introducing new gameplay more regularly than we've, we've been able to do before. Definitely. Because new troops, like we discussed, it's a lot of overhead, you know, there's a lot of balancing considerations, and it only provides value for a fraction of the players. With heroes, we can do the same thing, but actually cater for a like wider range of HQ levels. And they're easier to balance because you can only take yeah. one hero with one battle. ability. With one ability, yep. yeah, exactly. Definitely. So we can do e cooler stuff. Absolutely, well. and more wilder of it. stuff, and yeah. more of it. <laughs> Each hero, basically, the the core kind of framework of it is that each hero has an has a unique hero perk, which is a sort of a passive ability, something that the hero just does. Uh, when he or she is deployed in the battlefield. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, each hero has three active abilities that you can choose from. You can only have one with you in each battle, but you have three to choose from. So you can customize it. Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. the, the idea was that you can actually fit and tailor your ability to the army that you're running. Mm -hmm. So if you are running, for example, Zookas and Heavies, you might want a different hero ability compared to when you're running Tanks, tanks and Medics, right. for example. Right. So um, we've said she a few times, so should we talk about who, who these girls are? Sure. Let's do that. Yeah. So we're actually launching now with two heroes. And the first hero that you'll encounter is called Sergeant Brick. She's my favorite. Yes. So Sergeant Brick is someone who's been stranded actually on the island that you are on. Uh, she's been keeping a close eye on your devel development. And once you reach a certain HQ level, she feels ready that she's actually, you're a good guy and she can safely reach out. She trusts and, you now. Yeah, she trusts you now. Yeah. She's keeping, been keeping an eye on you. And she'll actually come forward and um, ask if she can join your forces. Mm -hmm. And I think Sergeant Brick is kind of the, the team player. She's the drill sergeant. She's there to really encourage your troops yep. and, and keep their pep up and really, she's, she's a unit, a hero that works together with your army. She doesn't go out on her lonesome. She's at her best with all of these, yep. your army grouped around her. And you'll yep. see that in the abilities too. Yep. So she has three abilities. They, like I said earlier, they actually start off usable, but they should still scale towards mm -hmm. the end game. So mm -hmm. the first ability that you'll have is Cluster Grain. It's basically, it's a carpet bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so when you activate it, she actually throws a grenade that clusters on contact. It targets a defensive building and then goes off from there. Mm -hmm. And it carpets the area behind the target with shrapnel. And yeah, that it also explodes. So lots of explosions, which is great. And this is one of the three that you can pick from, right? Yeah. yeah. So another one that you can pick from is uh, 
boost the troops around you. Yeah. Did we name that one yet? Yeah, it's called Battle Orders. Battle Orders, yes. So this is this one's boosting all of the troops around you, making them stronger, shoot faster. Um, move faster. And move faster, yeah. If you remember the speed serum from one of the Mega Crabs, yeah. similar similar to that. So this is, this is the one that really works well with your army and kind of... Yeah. Sends them into crazy jitter mode. Go go go! Yeah. Uh, so the, the, and the last one is actually kind of uh, that a similar ability to that one, but uh, it actually protects your troops from damage. Mm -hmm. uh, that's called Iron Will. Iron Will. That's yeah. the shield. Yeah. Yeah. So every troop with the, around the hero actually gets a fifty percent reduction to the damage that they take. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this this is all of these abilities you can tell, except for the cluster bomb. Yeah, I like that one too. Except for that one, they all work really well with the troops around you. So you want her kind of yep. in the middle of your army so that her aura can reach yep. everything there. The cluster bomb we wanted to put in as well as for, for those players who actually want the direct damage. Yeah, you need some tool. pew pew pew. Yeah, <laughs> you always need some pew yeah. pew pew. <laughs> and it actually nicely complements the other gunboat abilities that you mm -hmm. have. So artillery is direct pinpoint damage, barrage is damage to a wider area, and the cluster bomb will be a little bit less damage, like across to individual buildings, but actually spread that damage to a larger area. So it'll be more like the barrage. Yeah, yeah. but even larger area. Awesome. Even more explosions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's Sergeant Brick. Next, we should talk about hero number two. So hero number two is called Captain Everstark. Mm -hmm. And she she's a bit of a challenge to actually unlock. Not a, not a terrible challenge, but uh, you have to um, explore the archipelago a bit more. So she's hiding from the bad guys that she's also trying to, been trying to uh, sabotage. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can find her in one of the boss bases. Right. So out Sergeant bases. Brick is in your base. Yeah. But Captain Everspark is not. Yeah. Captain Everspark is actually out there in the archipelago. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a distress signal appearing in the location that she's at. And in that location will be a boss base. And once you beat that boss base, you will be able to free her. And then she joins your team. Yeah. Then she awesome. joins the team. Yeah, I'm really excited about her. She has some really amazing abilities, and she's a lot more um, more of an individualistic hero. Not so much about the team, but more yeah. she has her own powers too. You could say that. Uh, with her, we wanted to actually we wanted to make her a bit not trickier, but more playful, maybe mm -hmm. in her abilities. Yeah, and uh, she has more tricks up her sleeve compared to Sergeant Brick. Definitely. So the first ability that she has is str rather straightforward. Um, she releases a swarm of critters. She's a kind of a critter wizard. Yes. Um, Actually, her working name was Mechromancer. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Our favorite name, the Mechromancer. Yeah. Mech <laughs> Mechromancer. Mechromancer, yes. So her passive ability, this happens, you don't have to customize it, will always be going on is every five Seconds? It goes down as you level up the I see. hero, but like every few starting, seconds, yeah, every few seconds, she's gonna spawn some critters onto the battlefield, and they will go out and do the attacking for you. Yep. I love this. So the first active skill is that, but you actually release a large kind of. It's called critter swarm. Mm -hmm. So you release a swarm of critters. More critters. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, gameplay-wise, it's interesting because they actually provide a lot of cover. The, right. The fact that she passively also releases critters every few seconds gives her a lot of cover like slow firing buildings and cannons and boom cannons will be targeting the critters rather than her and she actually buys a lot of time for the army that way by providing plentiful decoys. Mm -hmm. We wanted to also give her some direct damage potential so the second skill that she has is uh, demolition charge yeah. which is she plants demolition charges to defensive buildings. Doesn't Close actually them. plant them. She just kind of goes like tosses them, yeah. lobs some grenades. She yeah, learned from the grenadiers a little bit. We had them actually. Better aim, though. Yeah, we actually had it sort of. <laughs> she walked walked to the building and attached the thing to the side. Yeah. But she always got killed. Yeah. So we had to make no it good. a ranged ability. Yeah. So she had to toss. Yeah. Now she tosses them, and after a while they blow up, dealing mm. pretty significant damage. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Yeah. Now I think the most interesting ability is the last one. Yeah. 
So the last ability is uh, called Universal Remote. Mm -hmm. And of course, as any, everyone knows, with a Universal Remote, you can control everything. Yes. And in this case, she actually takes ca control of enemy defensive buildings. Yes. And they turn in to your side and fight for you for so you a certain time. So you can go into a battle, take over your enemy's building, and that yeah. building starts shooting at the other defenses. Yes. Oh, amazing. And then other defenses start shooting at it. If oh, it's so it distracts close. too. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's great. That. That's great. Yeah, uh, it's there's nothing better than taking con control of a boom cannon. It feels really satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So those are our heroes and their abilities. So are the heroes going to defend your base like they do in Clash of Clans? Um, at this point, no. The hero is in her hero boat and will be unable to participate in the defense. Okay. Even if she wants really, wants to do it a lot, but can't. She wants to help, but can't. She's confined in the boat. Yeah. So how is that going to affect balancing? Because it sounds like we're putting these really strong troops into the offense, but not anything into defense. Yeah, and that's a super valid point. Um, we didn't want to make the hero defend because it's actually it's logic that we don't actually have in the game. So it would be a lot of new feature work on top of already a lot of feature work that we've been doing. And uh, so we've actually, as an initial counter move towards that, we've done two things. One is that we've actually rebalanced the machine gun by making the spread a bit tighter so that there's less volatility. Mm -hmm. Before, it didn't actually consistently even kill a squad of riflemen on equal levels. So well, now we've done it, made it so that it hits more consistently. The mechanics are exactly the same, but it just delivers damage more consistently. Right. And it should now become, like, have a distinct role and become a valuable part in your defensive layout. Yeah, at least for me before when designing my base, I didn't think too much about yeah. where to place machine guns because they weren't very strong. I was more focused yeah. on the other defenses. But now, it sounds like I'm gonna have to redo my base Yes. And think about what to put those. Yes. yes. Um, so the second thing uh, was that we actually uh, added another prototype weapon slot to the weapon lab. So uh -huh. starting from weapon lab level three, you'll actually be able to have two prototype weapons, and then on level five, three prototype weapons. Okay, so that's a big change. Yeah. So and prototype course, weapons are super strong defenses. Yes. Yeah. And of course, we'll keep a close eye on the balancing. Like we'll be ready to react if uh, if it's needed. Uh, but these were just the initial kind of counterbalancing moves sure. that we did. And we definitely know that this is a big change to the balance, and yeah. we are going to be watching to see if anything needs to be altered or changed down yeah. the road. And we're ready to make those changes. Now, let's talk about the trader. This is something we have not mentioned before. Mm -hmm at all. Um, there have been no sneak peeks yet about the trader. So what does the trader do? So the trader is another new character that we'll be adding. And uh, she is someone who has heard of your resistance against the black card and has uh, smelled that you might be lucrative business for her. Yeah, and she wasn't too impressed by her resistance either. No, no. She's like I guess she gives an off an air that she's accustomed to something better. Yeah, but she doesn't really care too much either way. She's there for the no, money. Yeah, yeah. Even resisting, like it doesn't matter for her. It doesn't matter where the money come from, mm -hmm. comes from. Um, all money is green. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she will. So she comes to trade to your base every weekend. And uh, so on Friday night she'll arrive and she'll leave on Sunday night. Okay. And every time she comes around in her big submarine, mm -hmm. she will be uh, bringing you new trading offers. So she does resource exchange. Okay. This is something that the players have been asking for yep. a lot. Yep. So there will be some resources there in the trader boat. Yep. And so these deals too will rotate every week. Every exchange. week. Every time she actually leaves and comes back, mm -hmm. they will, she will have new offers. Okay. And so let's talk a little bit about how the trader relates to the heroes. Sure. So the trader is the primary source for upgrading hero skills. Mm -hmm. The heroes themselves, you can actually upgrade with gold. So you can level up their health, their damage, their hero perk by just um, spending gold and uh, like basically like you upgrade everything else. So the, the basic stats you'll upgrade with gold. Yeah, and the hero perk. And the hero perk. Okay. So you level up the hero through gold, 
But for the hero skills, we've added a new currency called hero tokens. And hero tokens you can exclusively right now get from the trader. I see. And the trader, in addition to these uh, trading offers that she has, she'll also be carrying crates that contain hero tokens. And maybe some loot as well, like resources, okay. extra resources. She will be giving one for free every time she shows up. And you can buy more through collecting tickets from supply chests and daily rewards. So the more you play, the more chests you will get from her every weekend. Simply put, if you're playing and attacking, you're going to get more tickets. You can go in and get more crates. You can upgrade your heroes. Yeah, and do it faster as well. And faster. but. If you're not super active and you don't fill that supply chest every single day, you're still going to get some of the daily rewards too. Yeah, yeah. So you can, if you don't feel like doing your supply chest, you can still collect a uh, ticket every day from the daily reward. Okay, so this trader is going to have a lot going on with it. Yep. And it's going to come on weekends on Fridays. Yep. And then leave. Yep. Friday night, six o'clock local time, and leave Sunday night, ten o'clock. That's really great. Yeah. So, is there anything else we need to know about the trader? Or should we tell them the most important news that they're waiting for? I think we're ready to move on to the real news. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the question that everybody is asking is, when is the update coming? Well, we're ready to tell you now that the update is coming next week. Stay tuned, we'll be there soon. <laughs> 